Hey guys, welcome to another mod overview. Today we look at COM, which stands for Combined Overhaul Mod. The mod was recommended to me by Cerberus COH, if I didn't completely destroy the name again, uh, and it's made by Magnar and the Germans are coming. The name of the mod already speaks for itself, it is an overhaul which includes various modifications. I have to be honest with you guys and say that I'm usually not really into the overhauls and big compilations myself. I like adding individual mods myself, pretty much forming my own compilations. Overhauls tend to also add or change things that I don't really want. Sometimes I just don't want certain things to be added or changed in my game and that's my main problem with those big overhaul mods. However, this one only brings uh, changes a couple of things and what it changes is in my opinion really good and really welcome and that's why I want to point it out in a video today. I will go through the various features of the modifications, the links to download the mod are of course in the description of the video, so hopefully you enjoy and let's get into it. So the first feature they call Rebel Reorganization. This changes the start position of pretty much every rebel faction in the game. Some rebel factions were given a more historical name, a lot of them were removed, replaced or new ones were added. We will now have rebel factions like the Astures, Batavia, Libya, Noricum and the Vescones. I was told that the long term aim of the mod is to add a unique rebel faction for every single region in the game, which is a great and unique idea. This automatically leads us to the next feature, which is the fact that all rebel factions have new army cores. These factions are no longer based around Roman units only, the rebel armies usually only spam like the Roman spear infantry units and that's just not fun to fight against. The mod also introduces combined armies for, the, uh, for these rebel factions. An example of this is a combined Roman and Celtic, uh, Celtic army, army corps for emergent factions in Britain. Emergent Roman factions in Africa will have a mix of Roman and African units and so on. A really cool idea to make those rebellions a little more unique and a little more, yeah, it's more fun to fight against an army which is a, um, yeah, unique to the rebel faction and also not component of the same Roman units every single time again. Some of these rebel factions have also been made playable in custom battles, so you can even play a battle yourself with these combined unit rosters. Britain, Gaul, Africa are all playable and their unit rosters but pro portray the units they feel in the campaign mode as well. So this is something you will see in the campaign as well, these type of unit rosters. The next feature about the mod is that it changes the Eastern Roman Empire and the Huns in terms of balancing. The mod adds a hidden bonus to income and other buffs to the Romans, which makes them last longer in your campaign. They will not always be like a complete superpower because of this, but they will generally perform a bit better than before. This does mean that playing as the Eastern Romans is not recommended, as it makes it simply too easy for the player in my personal opinion. To make the Huns more powerful and fearsome, the mod adds more traits to the faction. The Huns can gain more income, immunity to snow attrition, bonuses from puppet states and economic advantages. This does make the Huns even more powerful, expanding Attila's story behind the campaign. They are really feared right now, you don't want to be at war with these guys early on. Another thing is that a mod significantly reduces the zone of control of settlements, which is supposed to make the campaign more fluid. It's now easier to maneuver um, between settlements, which is especially a good thing for Horde. It was so annoying when you just keep getting like blocked by those city and those borders. Uh, so this mod tends to fix that a little to just make it more smooth, a bit more easier to move your armies around. Um, yeah, so the better barricades mod that I discussed in a previous video is also included in this mod uh, compilation. Which uh, the mod gives barricades obviously more hit points to increase their role in the siege battles and to really make them useful. You can really block streets off for a long time right now, and that's in my opinion a good thing, because barricades are really the new thing in these siege, battle, uh, in these siege battles. The, the mod is made by Sebiday, like the um, yeah the barricades mod, and the reduced political actions mod is also made by him, and that's also added in this overhaul, which should improve the political gameplay a, um, a little. Last but not least, the mod also aims to reduce the raising in the campaign. A lot of players, including me, still think that the raising is just too much. Like 50% of the entire world is raised after like 150 turns. And that's just too much in my opinion. The problem is solved by a drastic change. Only nomadic factions such as the Huns, Roxelanians and Budinians are able to raise in this compilation. 
these are the major things that are added in right now uh, just these couple of changes so it's not the biggest overhaul yet which is a good thing in my opinion future plans are to include even more small but effective modifications into the overhaul you are able to request the addition of a mod in the steam thread um, of the modification in like the comment section where of the mod in the mod page in the workshop a link will be in the description of course to summarize the mod will add new rebel factions and will make them more unique by giving them a combined unit roster the mod will make the huns more powerful and it also buffs the eastern roman empire the mod reduces raising in the campaign and it will make you and it will make you able to play as some rebel factions in those custom battles Overall a great mod to add to your collection, uh, besides some other mods you enjoy yourself, it really fits in well. Uh, please note that it does change the star position, so you can uh, use a mod that overrules that. I recommend every one of you to check it out, you need to download two parts to install the mod, links to both parts on the Steam Workshop are in the description. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.